Cyber threats are only becoming a bigger issue, and you've decided to take the leap into the world of cybersecurity. Well, that's great news. However, you're not alone, and getting into this field as a beginner can be extremely competitive. So in this video, I'll break down the key concepts that you need to know to build your cybersecurity career. This is not an exact roadmap for you to follow. However, more of a blueprint to help you think strategically about your career and guide you on where to direct your effort you have to do the work. So much like IT work, cyber has grown to the point where there are both deeply technical and less technical roles. So to start with, let's have a look at the cyber landscape of work. So to start with, let's go over the broad landscape of cyber work at a very high level, and we can break down each area. So we have our offensive operations. So this is your penetration testing, hacking, red teaming, etc. You have the defensive operations, which is your blue team, security operations centers, incident response and forensics. There's security engineering, so this is like deploying and configuring security hardware and software. There's security management, so you're managing projects, budgets, compliance and so on. As well as a lot more niche roles like, for example, cyber threat intelligence, among many others. So my framework for getting into cybersecurity is based off four main pillars starting with your core technical skills. For technical roles, you should have a basic understanding of a programming language like C Sharp or Java, scripting language like Python, web stack fundamentals, so HTML, JavaScript, HTTP, PHP, etc. Databases like MySQL and NoSQL, a firm understanding of your network concepts, cloud concepts and the associated infrastructure, how operating systems work, basic understanding of computer hardware and resources, and security concepts like permission, authentication, encryption, etc. So for those who aren't getting into a technical role, a basic understanding of what these terms are should be all you really need. If you're cross-skilling from a technical role, this requirement should be pretty easy to fill. Just deepen specific skills more relevant to your security, like scripting, reverse engineering, and so on. Maybe start doing some CTFs to get a bit of hands-on experience. The second pillar is experience. Almost every job within the IT industry is relevant to security. So it doesn't matter if you're a developer, a tester, system admin, help desk, project manager, or whatever. All of this experience is actually valuable. Security does not belong in a silo separate from IT. It's all related. On-the-job experience will prepare you in a way that studying simply cannot. Studying is learning what the tools are and how to use them, but experience teaches you when to use them and why. This is when you will start getting more creative with what you know in efforts to solve problems or to make processes more efficient. The third pillar is your soft skills. This is a new addition to my list, but something that is desperately needed within the field. In most cyber roles, you will be communicating and interacting with many people, both technical and less so. Soft skills are important for leadership, describing problems, presenting, and overall just getting on with the job. I often hear the phrase hard skills get you hired but soft skills get you promoted, but the way the industry is heading, soft skills are becoming increasingly valuable and even expected at this point. This also involves you building up your professional network by going to events and perhaps presenting, no matter how basic you think your ideas are. Building a network on LinkedIn and within the security community is also really helpful. This should be easy for anybody cross-skilling from any sort of management role and could give you a good advantage in some respects. And now the fourth pillar is certificates. The cybersecurity industry is a bit obsessed when it comes to cybersecurity certificates. And while I have learned a ton from studying these certs, they also do feel a bit restrictive. Regardless, there is a heavy emphasis on these certificates in the industry and especially the specific type of work that you do. This infographic by Reddit user SignCureLife has a great range of certificates based on specialization and difficulty. Certificates are fantastic for developing a specialized skill set. This really helps you dive deeper into specific areas of interest and often you walk away from them gaining a hell of a lot of knowledge. Don't burn yourself out low on too many entry level certificates. I often find certificates are best when you're a little bit outside your comfort zone. So you've built your pillars, how do you get your first job? Well, this is something no one can guarantee, let alone YouTubers, or give you any exact procedure for. So I'm sorry if that's what you're here for. 
This is where you will have to do the work. Build your four pillars as best you can and build a competitive case for yourself as to why you would be worth hiring in a cybersecurity role above all the other applicants. If you're transferring in from another role with an IT, this will likely be a lot easier than directly starting your career in cyber. But other than that, there is no science to this part and so many variables depending on your country, city, culture, job market, and so on. There really is no way of knowing how long it will take you to land your first cyber job, but if you're persistent, you have your four pillars strong, I'm confident you will land the opportunity eventually. If you're interested in learning about all the different types of roles there are in security, then click here for my full breakdown video of all the different roles within cyber. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.